Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. This week we are feeding my family of four some delicious and easy meals on an extreme budget. So stick around, let's get in the kitchen and let's start cooking. Tonight's recipe, we're gonna be using half of our rotisserie chicken and these two loaves of French bread and some Alfredo sauce and mozzarella cheese. And we're gonna be making some chicken Alfredo French bread pizzas. I've never had this before, but I saw it on Pinterest and I was just super excited to try it. And I'm stretching this rotisserie chicken over two meals. So I'm excited for that too. So I cut up half of my chicken here I'm going to save the remaining half for tomorrow's meal, and we're going to be using this on our pizzas. Next, I'm going to take my French bread loaves. I'm going to cut them in half, and then I'm going to cut them in half like this. So I'm going to end up with eight French bread pizzas, and I'm hoping to have some left over because that's going to be lunch this week. Once I have my bread sliced, I'm gonna take this Alfredo sauce. I'm going to spread this evenly among my French bread pizzas. You could have made your own Alfredo sauce. I mean, that would have been cheaper, I'm sure, but this is a convenient way for a busy working mom. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm just going to spread it around on my French bread. And then I'm going to be adding the other two toppings, which is chicken and mozzarella cheese. Next, I'm going to take the chicken and I'm going to spread a few pieces around on top of that Alfredo. And then we're going to be topping these pizzas with mozzarella cheese. Once I have the mozzarella cheese on my pizzas, I'm going to put those in a 450 degree oven for about 20 minutes or just until the cheese gets to your liking. And I'm just putting a little bit of parsley flakes on here just to add a pop of color, just because pretty food tastes better, right? And so this is our French bread pizza. I just cut these into half and this was so delicious. We had about five slices left, and so we have that packed up for lunch tomorrow. But let me tell you, you need to try this recipe. It was super delicious, and I was just surprised that we were able to get such a delicious meal, and we still have half of that rotisserie chicken left. So this is definitely a win. I am definitely making this a lot more. You need to try it. Tonight's meal, I'm going to be making copycat chili southwestern egg rolls, and I'm going to be using about half of this red pepper, but I'm going to go ahead and cut up the whole thing. Um, I'm going to be using the rest of my rotisserie chicken, and so I'm just going to work on getting these just chopped up and then we're going to be putting this into a skillet just to get some flavors married together. I need some green onions and if you've been around my channel you see that I use green onions twice. Once I use them once I take the ends I put them in a jar of water and it will grow more green onions. So this is the growth on my green onions so I'm going to go ahead and trim these up. I have washed them and now I'm going to chop up some green onions. If you've not tried that trick you really need to. If you buy green onions and then you cut them down leave the roots put them in a jar with some water and put them in a window seal, you will grow more green onions. It's a great way to um, stretch a buck. So I have my skillet here heating up with my red peppers, my green onions. I'm adding in the chicken and I'm gonna give that a stir. I have a little tiny bit of diced jalapeno peppers left. I'm gonna add that in. You could certainly use fresh if you want it or just leave it out. I'm adding one cup of black beans and one cup of corn that I have drained and rinsed. And then I still have a little bit of red pepper, some corn and some beans left. I'm gonna put that in my fridge for another meal this week. So I'm gonna put in about a handful of spinach. I'm gonna let that wilt down inside of this mixture. And then I'm gonna start adding in some seasonings. I'm adding salt, pepper, and then I'm gonna add in some cumin and I'm gonna add in some cayenne pepper. I don't measure, I just kinda of eyeball it. You can measure, you can taste. I just, I don't know, I'm just not a measure. So I just put some this seasoning in. I'm gonna let this hang out for a few minutes and let the flavors come together. 
Now I'm going to work on the avocado ranch. So I have here a cup of sour cream and I'm gonna add in a ranch seasoning pack to that. And then I am going to give that a stir just to let that combine. I want a thicker consistency than just ranch dressing out of a bottle. And so I'm gonna give this um, a stir. This is gonna be pretty thick. And then I'm going to cut my avocado and scoop that out. And I'm going to mash that here on my plate. And I'm going to be adding that to the ranch mixture. This is how they serve it at Chili. So this is what I'm going to do. And so that is going to be added to that sour cream ranch mixture. And then I'm going to just let it hang out in the fridge until I am done making my Southwestern egg rolls. So now that I have that mixture off the stove, I'm adding in about a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. I think Chili's uses Monterey Jack. I didn't have Monterey Jack, so I'm just going with the cheddar. But I'm just stirring that into my bean and corn mixture here. And this is going to be the filling for my egg rolls. Before we start building our egg rolls, you need to heat up your tortillas for about a minute. It helps them to be more pliable and not tear. So I put one scoop of the filling and then I am just folding this and getting it ready to go into my oil. I have a pan with about an inch and a half of vegetable oil heating up on the stove. I'm going to do this kind of like a deep fry method, but I don't have a deep fryer. So this is the way that I do it. So we're just going to keep rolling these and getting them ready while my um, oil heats up. So you want to use a vegetable oil, canola oil, something like that because it has a higher cooking temp. And so I'm just heating up about an inch and a half in my skillet and then I'm going to drop these in and make it kind of like a deep fry egg roll situation. So I drop these in the oil with the seam side down. I'm going to flip them after about a minute it depends on how high your temp is on your oil but this is what they look like after i flip them and this made eight um egg rolls and so as i served them i cut them in half i served it alongside this avocado ranch this was so delicious I mean, the flavor was so on point. This was a neat meal. It was something different out of the box, you know, just something we don't normally eat. It was wonderful. You should definitely try this. Chili's Copycat Southwest Egg Rolls with Avocado Ranch. So tonight we are just taking it easy. We are making a baked potato bar. So I have washed and scrubbed four russet potatoes. I'm just going to puncture some holes in my potatoes. This is the way that I always make them. This is going to be a quick dinner and it's going to be great tonight because I am so tired. So I just put a little bit of oil down in my foil. I don't know if this is right, wrong. Is there a wrong way to do a baked potato? I don't know. This is the way I do my baked potatoes. So I just coat the potato in the oil and then I take kosher salt and I sprinkle that all over my potato. I just feel like that gives it a great flavor. And then I just roll up my foil and I put this on a pan. I have my oven preheating to 400 and so this is going to be dinner tonight and I'm excited because y'all I'm tired. Once I have my potatoes all wrapped and ready I'm going to put those in a 400 degree oven for an hour. So I have my toppings ready. I browned up a few strips of that turkey bacon. I've got some butter, a little bit of cheese I've got left. I've got some sour cream left. And here are those peppers and corn and black beans from the other night. Guys, this is nothing fancy, but this is gonna be dinner. It's very affordable, very easy and quick, and it's gonna be yummy. So here I am building the better baked potato. <laughs> I just put a pat of butter on there and then I'm taking some of the red peppers and the black bean and the corn mixture and adding that to my potato. This is a great way to um, make this meal more filling. You're also getting some protein from the beans. It's also a great way just to use up things that I didn't use in previous recipes. I didn't use it all, so I'm not wasting it. And so I'm just gonna add some cheddar cheese on top. 
And then I'm going to add some of the bacon that I cooked up and then always top with sour cream. I am a huge advocate for sour cream on your baked potato. I love it. And then another couple pieces of bacon for sure. And so this was my baked potato. You had flexibility with this. Your family could build it how they wanted. So this was a good meal. Everybody enjoyed it. Definitely a win. So those were our meals this week and they were delicious. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.